During this exercise, we're going to take a look at perhaps one of the most common, most advanced functions that you're going to find inside of Microsoft Excel. Now, there's definitely more advanced type functions inside of Excel, but I'd say that this is perhaps one of the most common ones that people want to learn about as they get into the more advanced functions of Excel. During this video, we're going to take a look at the VLOOKUP or the vertical lookup. So open in front of you, I've got the exercise file. I'm still inside of Excel 103 Advanced Exercises, and I'm looking at the VLOOKUP function worksheet. Now there's actually going to be two worksheets that we're going to play with here during this exercise. The VLOOKUP function worksheet, and right next door, we've got the master employee list or master imp list. And you can see here, it's got column headers along the top. We've talked about lists and it's got rows of records down below. It's not a very big list. It's got 38 rows, 37 records minus the headers there. Okay, so it's not a huge list, but it's gonna get and demonstrate this concept of working with the VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna go back to the VLOOKUP worksheet. Now here, here's the scenario. Here's the scenario. Somebody comes to you and says, hey, we've got this master list. Remember this guy right here? We've got this master list of all the employees Okay, all their employee IDs, first name, last name, departments, and so on. Got all their information. But all I need is just a little subset of that data. Not all of it. This group of employees and this information about the employees. Well, you've got a couple of ways you can do this. You can do filtering, sorting, copy pasting. You can do a few techniques to try to get the data out of this list that those users are looking for. Well, that person, they were nice enough to give you a partial list. So they gave you all the employee IDs that you, they need. Okay? It's up to you to now fill in the rest of the information. You need to now get their first name, their last name, their department, and their pay rate. And all of that information is on the master employee list. Well, in steps the VLOOKUP or the vertical lookup. Now, the first name column is already done for you. I did that one. You can use that as a reference point if you'd like to. Um, but it's already done. Let's hop over to last name. So the VLOOKUP is essentially going to do what you would do manually if you were going to fill this out, right? Let's say if I was going to fill this out by hand, I would say, okay, well, they want employee number 1054. Okay, check, 1054. I would then go over to the master employee list. I would look for the employee ID column, and I would look for that employee number. Ooh, 1054. What did they need? Oh, they wanted the last name. So master employee list, 1054, there's last name, copy it, hop back over, paste. And I do it for department and pay rate and I would do it for each of the employees. Could you imagine doing that by hand? Ooh, that would take a good portion of your day. So instead of us manually doing it, VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna hop over here into D3. That's where I want last name to show up. Now, I'm gonna to start to type this one out by hand, and then I'm gonna open up the insert function window. So it's a function equals V lookup, open parentheses. There it is, it's got one, two, three, four arguments, four pieces of information that it needs from us in order for it to do its job. Essentially, go find the employee ID, 1054, go to the master employee list, look for the last name, return that back to me where it matches the employee ID that I gave you. So once that's typed in, I'm then gonna hit the little FX button up here. This will open up the function arguments window for me, make it a much more visual for us. So the first thing it wants to know is the lookup value. What am I going to search for in order for you to find the last name? Well, the lookup value, I'm gonna give it cell B3. That's what I want you to look for in order to find last name. Now, eventually, this part's important, Eventually, I'm gonna copy this formula down to do the rest of the employee IDs, and I wanna copy it to the right to get to the department and the pay rate. Yep. So this B3 reference, right? this guy right here, I'm gonna make it a partial absolute value. So with my cursor flashing in there, I'm gonna tap the F4 key, function key F4 at the top of my keyboard. I'm gonna hit it not once, not twice, but three times. I wanna lock the B column, so it's gonna be dollar sign B3. So if your F4 key isn't working, you just type in dollar sign B3. We wanna lock column B. 
That way, as I drag down, column B stays the same. The row can change. We're dragging it down, right? But as we drag it to the right into department and pay rate, we want B column to remain the same. All right. Next thing it wants to know is, well, great. You're looking for this employee ID. Where do you want me to find it? Well, the data for us is on the master employee list. So I'm going to click in the table array, master employee list. All right, there it is inside of the table array argument. And I'm now going to grab the entire list. I'm going to go from A1. I'm going to use a shortcut key here. I'm going to do control shift down arrow. That'll select all, all the way down. Control shift right arrow, select all the way to the right. So now you can see my master employee list sells A1 to I38. Make sure you grab the entire list, even the headers along the top. Now this range right here, that needs to be absolute. I always want to use that same range when I copy this formula. So I'm going to highlight the A1 to I38, F4 on my keyboard, and I've now got the dollar signs in there to make that an absolute range. Now remember, if your F4 isn't working for you, you can type in the dollar signs, but dollar sign A, dollar sign 1, dollar sign I, dollar sign 38. All right, so what are you looking for? Where am I going to find it? Now, something very important about that master employee list, the VLOOKUP, when you specify the table array, it needs the lookup value to be in the first column of that list. So inside of the master employee list, column A is the employee ID is what we're looking for. Very important that that is true. Okay. All right, the next thing it wants to know is the column index num. It needs to know, well, okay, I'm looking for this value. I'm gonna look in this list, look in the first column, find that employee ID that matches what you're looking for. And then it wants to know, well, which column do you wanna return back? Okay. Once I find that employee ID, right? Well, we wanna find last name. Well, column index num, master employee list, the column that the last name is in is column number one, two. Last name is in column number two. So I'm going to hop over here. I'm going to wipe that out. I'm just going to put in a number two. Column index num. Let's get two. And then range lookup. It is an optional value. You don't have to have this, but range lookup. Down here, it tells you a little bit about what range lookup is. It's a logical value. All right. To find the closest match, they're talking about this lookup value, which is 1054. To find the closest match in the first column, remember that? Sort it in ascending order. We're going to put true or leave it blank. We're going to omit it. Okay. Well, we're looking for specific employees. I don't want to find the closest match if that 1054 doesn't exist in the list. I want to find the exact match. Well, in order to find an exact match, we'll put false. So I'm just gonna say range lookup, false. Now, I said it's optional, but 90, 95% of the time that I use a VLOOKUP, I use false. I wanna find the exact match. Now, if it can't find an employee ID, if it doesn't find 1054, then the VLOOKUP returns an error. And that's what these guys right here are, these NAs. Because I left these cells blank, it didn't have anything to find, so it returned an error in NA. Okay. We'll talk about that some more later on. All right, but that's it. What are you looking for? Where am I going to find it? Remember, first column of the table array, it's going to search that vertically. What am I going to return back to you? Which column do you want? And then whether or not you want to find the exact match. And that's it. I can hit OK. And there's Smith. I can now drag that down, populate them all. Done, right? I don't have copy, paste, filter, sort, search, done. The VLOOKUP does it all for you. All right, I want you to try this out. Hop over to the department column, do the pay rate. I want you to find those two using a VLOOKUP. Remember, four little things. What are you looking for? Where are you gonna find it? Which column do you wanna return back to you once it's found? And whether or not you wanna find the exact match, a vertical lookup the VLOOKUP inside of Excel. Try it out.